hi welcome to my channel blue lady thrifting please like share and subscribe leave a comment if you so desire today's video is a haul video of four different stores that i um recently shopped some recent some in the summer but this is a salvation army stop a garage sale stop a Goodwill stop, and last, a Galleria of Arts and Antiques stop. But let's start with the Salvation Army. The Salvation Army that day had half off all its white stickers, so almost everything I got was half off. Let's start back here with this cute little Noah's Ark frame. It doesn't have any chips or cracks. It's in very good condition, very sweet. And for everyone that doesn't know, I am going to be a grandma this year. I paid $1 for it because it was half off $1.99 and it would sell for $12 to $14 if I don't keep it for that grandbaby picture. Next from Salvation Army was this set. I got a set of five, set of five, um, they're like little espresso demi toss coffee cups, um, a little cup and um, saucer. They were $2.99 a piece and I got them for $1.50. They are not marked anywhere, um, but they sell for about $5 to $6 each. But they were cute for some coffee lovers. I like coffee, but I wouldn't say I'm a coffee lover. All right, next are these. Now, I don't believe they're Blenco because they don't have like the right shape, but they are cool because you can fit a large like um, tea light candle in the top or turn them over and you can use them for taper candles. So I found a set of two. They're originally $1.99, so I only paid a dollar each for them. And let's see, what did I write down? Amber art glass candle holder, taper, tea light, or votive, um, Blanco like. These sell for about $30, even if they're not Blanco. Then the last thing that I found at the Salvation Army was this set of Playmobil. This is actually one of the first sets of Playmobil that they introduced, this Western cowboy. Um, it came with all these pieces, um, the little cowboy hats. I thought this was funny with the good guy and the bad guy and the white and the black. Um, you've got some holsters there. It did come with this instrument, whatever that is, and one G-U-N. He's got his holster. There's a little king. And then the two Indian chiefs. So very cute. I only paid $3.99 for this. And let's see, um, it's 3251 Western, one of the first sets, Cowboy Fort. Um, this sold actually for $137 in the box, just with these same pieces. So $137, cool. All right, next let's move on to a garage sale. This was a garage sale um, of one of my mother-in-law's friends. So pretty close nearby. Um, I picked up, uh, and I don't have prices on absolutely everything. And you know, she does give you a deal. So I'm not sure how much I paid for this weeping gold vase. It is, um, nine inches tall. And I only have one other weeping gold piece that's pretty small. So I liked this one because it was big. Um, there's no markings on the bottom, but this tall weeping gold vase would sell for about $20 to $30. Then I picked up, well, actually, I picked up a lot of um, spode from this garage sale, but I already um, showed that at a Christmas video. But I also picked up all of this um, heart in hand pottery. I believe I paid $0.50 cents for this one. It's pretty with the blue and the snowflakes. It's got the USA um, heart and hand mark on the bottom, and it is um, signed by whoever painted it. And this little bowl would sell for about 5 
to $10. And then I found some checkered plates, well, one checkered plate and two checkered bowls. So I believe I paid $2 for the checkered plate and I'm not sure what I paid for the bowls, but you can see that indentation there and the, this is what, from 1980, 1981. Yep, 1980, well, maybe 1987. And let's see, did this have a mark? Nope, didn't have a number mark. And let's see what this has on the bottom. Um, just USA Heartstone with the JM initial of who painted it. I paid $2 for that one. Let's see, what did I write? Checkmate plates, that's what they're called. Um, two OSU plates have sold for $60. Um, a checkmate bowl has sold for 10 to $15 each. And then these ones over here are, um... I think wildberry this what these ones are called wildberry and I have five dessert plates and again don't remember how much I paid for these Heartstone USA um let's see the wildberry dessert plates have sold for $40 four holiday plates have sold for $63 and four woodland plates have sold for $50 so there you go Okay, last thing that I found at this garage sale was this plate right here. And this was a Sue find. She convinced me that I should get it because she thought it was worth some money. Um, it's got like a cows in a barn scene. It is signed right there. And let's see. Um, Andrew, the Andrew White plate for George Jensen, the crooner farm. Copyright 1971, Andrew White, made in USA. So I paid a dollar for this, and it sells for about $8. I don't know why, but I think she thought it sold for a lot more. But maybe it was back in the summer when she was looking it up, but now it only sells for about $8. And that was everything that I found at my friend's garage sale. And next, we'll move on to Goodwill. Let's see. Let's start with this crackle vase back here. It's like, I don't think it's like a crackle finish. I think it's just like painted in a crackle pattern. Um, it doesn't have any markings that I can really make out on the bottom. Um, but I paid $2.99 for this vase, and it would sell for about $20. Then I found another Ray Dunn. This Ray Dunn was $2.99, this Boss Ceramic to-go cup. Um, it would sell for about $12 to $20. That Artisan Collection by Magenta there. Hmm. I, think, I think Ray Dunn is fun, so I pick it up. Next are these little fish bowls. There was actually supposed to be a third. There was supposed to be a blue one, but I only found the green and the red. The blue one must have broke, and they do need a bath. Um, what did I pay for them? I paid 99 cents each for them, and let's see, what do they sell for? Their Home and Garden Party Stoneware Collection, and let's see. Well, people are asking $20 for the set of three, but I only have two, so... We'll have to see if these get kept for the lake house or they get sold just as a pair. Next from Goodwill was this plate right here. This serving plate. You know I liked the blue and the hand, the hand stamped or hand painted. Let's see, where is it from? Papart Ceramics hand painted in Turkey. So I only paid $1.99 for this and people are asking about $30 for it. All right, next is this little guy right here, this anthropomorphic, so giving human features to inanimate objects. This little shelf sitter, he was originally $8.99 somewhere, and I paid, let's see, I paid $1.99 for him. He sells anywhere between $5 and $30. I, he 
He's a little shelf sitter. I picked him up because I saw one of my favorite YouTubers pick up a bunch of vegetable shelf sitters and they sold really well for her. So that's why I picked this guy up. Let's see, a couple more things from Goodwill. This right here, this wooden pool toy. It's very dusty and needs a bath again, but I thought it was very sweet with the rainbow. I only paid 99 cents for it and it sells between 10 and $20. And I will not keep this for a grandbaby, I don't believe, unless she wanted a Noah's Ark theme. So I have a couple of nephews if they have a Noah's Ark theme in their nursery. But other than that, I'll probably sell it. Then there was this plate right here. I must have liked the colors, reminded me of fall, um, because it does have a chip right there. So I would much rather it not have a chip, but for only 99 cents, I figured I needed to rescue it for only 99 cents. It is made in Italy. Hmm, made in Italy. Redware, a redware plate. And it would sell for about 10 to $15, probably closer to 10 since it has that chip. All right, last from the Goodwill were these um, Cat's Meow. These Cat's Meow um, sitters, like windowsill sitters. This one is, well, it's signed in 1992, the um, E. Jones. And I have an uncle with the first initial E, and my maiden name was Jones, so I believe that's why I picked this one up. But let's see, what did I pay for it? Got to see the next one. 99 cents. I paid 99 cents each for these. And this is another cat's meow. There's the cat. And my husband is an attorney. So that's why I picked this one up. Attorney at Law and Exchange Bank. And let's see. This one was regularly $6.99 it looks like. $19.84 looks like. Um, they would sell for about $10 each I believe. I believe. Sometimes they sell better if you put them in a lot together, but sometimes people are looking for specific ones. All right, that was everything that I found at Goodwill. And the last stop was at the Galleria of Arts and Antiques. And I only found three little things. Let's start with these very funny googly-eyed frogs. Um, seriously, they're wearing cowboy hats and they're all got, they're just, they're just make you happy. They're not marked on the bottom. But let's see, um, what did I write there? Ceramic, oh, oh, a ceramic Neil the Frog. I don't have a picture of Neil the Frog, but if you Google lens a frog you find and he ends up being Neil the Frog, he is sold for $300. Now these three cowboy frogs I paid $5.50 for, and there's actually a set of six, and I only got three of them. And they sell for about um, $15 for the set of three. Then I found this Cats by Nina. And one of my favorite YouTubers, and I'll tell you her name, the Crazy Lamp Lady. I like to watch her. Um, she introduced me to the Cats by Nina. This is a planter. You can see the marking on the bottom. Very cute. Nina Lyman. And I only paid, what? let's see... $14 for this planter. I thought it was very sweet. <laughs> very cute face there. <laughs> kind of reminds me of one of my uncles. I will not say who, who has a mustache like that. But anyway, this would sell for about $36. Then last find was this Black Panther. Now, I have found a panther before, but it was much smaller, and it was like a shark truce green color so I was like ooh Black Panther it's big and um, I picked it up and it was only $30 and so I knew how much these sold for since I already sold a little green panther so I did pick him up and cradle him all through the store so nobody else could get him um, he doesn't have any markings on the bottom except whatever that is right there but no chips or cracks. He's in really good condition. I guess back in the, what, 1950s or so? I don't know what, 1960s, 70s, I'm not sure. Um, people would place these on top of their TV consoles, the really big, you know, TV box consoles. Um, 
They do make these panthers in a lamp. It's called a TV lamp. But this ceramic panther also sells very well. It sells, let's see, what did I write down? Um, well, actually, I paid $35 for the panther. And he sells anywhere between $125, $139, and $152. So that should definitely be a good profit right there on that Black Panther. And my husband said that I should put him near our TV until he sells. Because I guess he liked him too. And why wouldn't he? He's very cool. All right. That was a um, quick video of everything that I found at four different stops recently. Um, please hit that thumbs up button if you like this kind of video. Leave a comment if you so desire. Um, of course, like, share, and until next time, I thank you for watching.